The three words that I would choose would be joy, would be representation, and it would be life, you know, and also history. So sorry, there's four. But I think history is also a very important part of it because it's, I like this idea of history. We look back on all of the different artists that were working alongside canon art history and see that everybody was also struggling with their ways of representation. And I really like this kind of conversation that is happening between like the older works and the more contemporary. The first things that come into my mind when I think of the When We See Us exhibition is representation. I think this is like one of only three exhibitions that I've seen in over a 10 year period that is really dealing with figuration, art history, canon, and black artists being represented. For me, as a black woman artist from London, that's super, super important because I didn't grow up seeing this kind of thing. The artwork that's hanging here is called The Birthday Party. It was a source photo of Steve Biko, the South African activist, and it was a photo that I'd never seen before of him in color, looking less serious, not talking about struggle or political things, but more just happy with his friends celebrating a birthday party. I think it was a friend of his called Lindway that they were celebrating. And I just really like seeing the joy on his face. I really like seeing the smile, the happiness, the fact that he was so casual, surrounded amongst his friends. And I thought that that was a beautiful thing and I'd never seen that. So I really wanted to make a painting based on that photo and that this is the result. For all of the chapters, I think I relate to them individually very strongly because <laughs> all of the chapters are to do with life, it's to do with living. And I think for me, yeah, all of them resonate in some way, like the everyday. I think that that's also super important, something that I really want to focus on in my practice because I do want to show the everyday. I don't want to just show struggle and suffering or colonial trauma. I want to show the everyday of what it is to be in this day and age but showing the black gaze. I think each one I connect to individually. But I think the everyday and joy and even like spirituality and like repos, those are the ones that kind of that hold a little bit closer. You should come and see it just to kind of like diversify history and art canon because there's always people and stories and narratives left out and everybody kind of has an idea of what art history looks like but they don't really know what it is because there are so many different stories so many different ideas so many different kind of representations and this is a, a good exhibition that provides another way of seeing another way of looking at history of life of a people that are spread out amongst all different diasporas and different countries it's like really important that you see different stories to kind of look at the people that have made some kind of impact in our world.